Stefan Ziols arrived at a UN climate summit. It's a, a summit he chaired only two years ago when he was Canada's environment minister. And he still got friends around at uh, this year's summit in Bali. He says it's kind of sad that the current government isn't meeting with environmentalists and opposition parties like he used to. He's meeting with some of those environmentalists at this at this conference. But he says it's too bad that the government has only included uh, business executives in its delegation. Today, at this conference here in Bali, we'll make the progress necessary to start the negotiations and to come in 2009 with a process that will make sure that in 2013 the world will know what to do about the biggest challenge the world is facing in this century. I'm not here necessarily to uh, make it uh, more salient than they are already. I'm just here to try to, uh, to meet the, the delegations and uh, the international bodies and to see how we may, we may continue to make progress. In Montreal, we launched a dialogue. The dialogue may pay off now. Some of those executives uh, actually spoke to youth environmentalists at a, uh, an event sponsored by the Canadian government. They came to speak about green technology and how their companies are using it. And this was part of an event, though, that where the main attraction was supposed to be Environment Minister John Baird. Uh, the so-called Canada Youth Delegation was waiting to ask Baird some tough questions about climate policy. You know, I mean, I personally was here to hear a presentation of my government's climate change plan. Um, so I'm wondering how this relates to that. Now, I say they were supposed to meet with him because it didn't quite work out that way. <laughs> Baird actually arrived at the event. He was milling about for a while just outside the conference hall. But he never went to the stage, and he suddenly disappeared. About halfway through it, his office uh, explained through a note to the event moderator that there had been a sudden and late-night development in negotiations, and the minister had had to leave. This shows such disrespect to the people who came to this conference, the youth who gave up their time. I mean, we're at the United Nations Framework on Climate Change, and to think that we have never we're heard anything listening to oil companies present about how they're going to help us with our CO2 problem. From the Canadian Press... I'm Alex Panetta in Bali.